Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, today I wanted to recap the Reds' recently completed series against the Milwaukee Brewers, uh, a series in which the Reds won uh, two out of three from. Uh, I kind of, sort of, after the Cubs series, gave up any hope that I had of this team uh, possibly, possibly achieving any sort of postseason status. So at this point, uh, yes, I guess it's nice to always win. You know, it's always better to win than lose. But I'm more so looking for. Uh, specific players and trends and things like that. And one of the really uh, nice things I saw in this series was uh, the hitting started to come around. And some of the hitting that came around came from guys who have struggled this season uh, or have um, not even only struggled but have been uh, a bright spot. Uh, one bright spot, for example, has been Philip Irvin. This guy has just been incredible. And I don't know if he's an everyday player, but if he's not, he's a hell of a platoon player with Jesse Winker. So uh, it's been really fun to watch Irvin. Also in the outfield, it's been fun to watch Josh Van Meter. Crushed a long home run today. Uh, as the season winds down and the Reds just look to assess for the future, I want to see him get more playing time because I think this guy's unbelievable, unbelievable power. Uh, I guess as you move around the diamond, Eugenio Suarez has just been on fire. Um, I saw somebody mention whether or not he's already a Reds Hall of Famer, and if he's not there yet, he's getting close. This guy just continues to get better and better, and I'm really excited he's in our uniform. Uh, shifting to first base, Joey Votto. Uh, a lot has been mentioned as far as his batting stance. He's straightened up a little bit, uh, not choked up on the bat so much. He had a pretty good series home run last night, knocking in some runs. So that's been really good to see. Uh, in terms of pitching, uh, last night Tanner Rourke may or may not have made his final start in our uniform. If he has, you know, he was a, did a pretty good job for us. So um, if he does end up leaving, uh, wish him the best of luck. Uh, I do think that that's a move they might need to make. Uh, it won't be an easy one because, you know, in years past the pitching struggled and now the pitching is good and, you know, they're inconsistent in other areas. But they're going to have to move some of these guys who are coming up at the end of a contract. So uh, those are some of my thoughts from that. Not as much concern about the record. Uh, I don't even know what it is off the top of my head without looking it up. I just want to see uh, some of these young players, like I mentioned, um, Irvin and Van Meter, um, uh, Sinzel, I want to continue to see what he can do, although he left the game today early. Uh, would like to see Vado get back on track. Uh, this week was a good start. Um, you know, he's still the cornerstone franchise guy. So, um, anyway, those are some of my thoughts about that. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll talk to you later. Take care. Bye.